Hi everyone, today I'm going to review a 5Q players game. This game is a handicap game. My student played a 4 stone handicap game with 2 dan. Um, I think this is the first time for me to review a handicap game of yours. It will be a lot of fun. What do you think? Um, before we begin, I want to mention the mindset. When you play a handicap game, the mindset should not be like let's step back because there are more stones, but it should be like let's fight because there are more stones. You should play actively. If you rely on your existing stones and you don't fight, you step back um, you will lose your benefit shortly. Does it make sense? Yeah, we will see. Yeah, this is the first move black answered, but with this move, black can go here. Yeah, this is more active. Yeah, if you answer like this, for example, if you answer everything, then this is good for white. You should uh, make good use of these stones. The way you can make the best use of your existing stone is not um, like this. This is not the best way for you to make good use of your existing stones. It should be like this. Let me show you some sequence I thought uh, is interesting. Yeah, I checked with AI and then um, I followed the best sequence. Um, black can block from this side. We can see that um, black is building this moyo instead of focusing on um, small area. Now I can capture the two stones, then black can just sacrifice these three stones. Yeah, this is black's privilege and black can take this one soon. Now we can see that um, black is making good use of these existing stones. Yeah, we can see the whole board. Yeah. Black has a big moyo here. Yeah, you should play something like this. Yeah, well I can cut here, then black can ignore this stone. Yeah, well I can take this one stone, and then black can play away. Now we can see that every existing stones are doing a great job with this move. So personally, this is the best move. Yeah, we don't need to cut this off. You can just connect to your stones like this. The meaning of connecting your stones is like this. You are connecting your stones like this. This is how you can play a handicap game. If I go here, this is small, right? You can go here. I think why should invade this side, then you can attack this turn. This is how you can run your handicap game. Yeah, this is very ideal for black. This is a um, great example for black. Yeah, this is the game. Of course, there is no problem with um, playing like this, but um, usually in handicap games you can um, play actively. Yeah, this is the game. Yeah, this is a very commonly played joseki. Black played away, it was good. Um, now black played this move, this is a bit uh, slack. This is a move that um, I mentioned in the beginning, like uh, this is a step back. This kind of move, you know, this is something like you are relying on um, your existing stones, saying um, I have already four stones, so I can just defend. But that's not true. If you play uh, some moves like this, then you might lose your benefit shortly. With this move, you can play more actively 
like this, you can kick and pincer. Then white should jump, then you can reinforce the right side with this sequence. Yeah, this is a good example for black. Or black and pincer here. Or um, sometimes um, the best way for you to punish your opponent could be uh, playing away. Yeah, you can play away. You can go here, or you can push. Yeah, playing away is better than this kind of move. Okay, this is the game. Yeah, black is attacking these two tones. It was good, but when bl white plays this um, diagonal, black answered, but it was um, not necessary. Yeah, I've seen so many times you guys answering the second line move when your opponent plays on the second line but in the beginning um, 9 out of 10 um, you don't have to answer in this case this is very small you can play away of course this is an end game if white goes here you can ignore it again but I think somehow if your opponent plays on the second line um, I think you guys think like um, I, I should answer this is so big or something like that but this is a good chance for you to ignore your opponent and then play elsewhere which is uh, very big yeah let me introduce this push now yeah this is a very good follow-up after this joseki i like this move i like this move as black and i like this as white yeah this is very um thick this is very powerful move for both so let me show you what will happen if black pushes here then um white can play away then black can play honey and then block here if white answers then this is a good follow-up now white has a stone here, so technically white can Atari from this side but usually playing Atari on this side is not that good let's say there is no white stone here, then black can keep pushing right? Yeah, without this stone white cannot block immediately so if white steps back, then yeah, locally this capturing race is good for black yeah, black has five liberties, white has five liberties. This is black's turn. So this is good for black. So it doesn't work. So not, um, so usually when black cuts here, white should Atari from this side. Then this is a joseki after joseki. Yeah, white can block outside. This is sente. This makes a living shape for black. Then white can capture this one's turn. Then white can live on the corner, but black is also happy with this move. Yeah, this is a joseki after joseki. But in this boot position, uh, white has a stone here, so white cannot target from this side. But this is also playable for black. Black can sacrifice these three turns at the moment. After this, black can push one more time. Then why it should add one more move? This is the right shape. Cause um, if I play like this, then there is some Aji, right? So this is the best answer for white. Then black can play away. Black is saying black managed to um, sacrifice these three turns, and uh, what black squeezed the upper side. Yeah, this is good for black. I think black could have thought about this push anytime in the beginning in this game. This is a very good move. So I wanted to show you. But in the game, black answered like this. I think this is a heavy troll move. Um, you just follow your opponent. Uh, with this move, you could have played away. Yeah, you could have played away. Yeah, this is the game. White jumped and black pincered. Yeah. 
there was a similar variation to the upper right corner yeah now black played here this is a bit um passive yeah with this move um black can go here or black can play like this this is more active right locally this is not alive after peep black can block then white has no separated two eyes so white so black can chase this group actually yeah with this sequence yeah this is a bit slack white played another attachment yeah this is the game so far so good um white played high yeah when white invades uh, like this the best way for black to punish this move is i think um ignoring it um black can play away yeah this is still good and yeah i think black can just jump out like this you know uh, when there um are stones like this invading high is not that threatening you should invade low because um, when you play low you have more potential to make eye shape something like this 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 yeah you can make uh, eye shape right but if you play high then we can see that you cannot make your eye shape yeah if you play like this and then we can see that these black stones are in the vital point what do you think this is um a point where white can make a tiger's mouth yeah so that's why when you invade you should play um here not here in other words if you invade high um you don't have a good follow-up so that's why black could have ignored this move then why cannot make a good shape black could have played here or here or just black could have jumped here yeah the worst answer is i think um attaching on the knees you know there is a very famous test suji when uh, we play a handicap game white can go here this is um kind of a train move as i said if your opponent plays like this you can ignore it you can play away if you play like this you are taking the bait this is a very um, popular tetsuji why can play um, in the handicap games yeah something like this yeah something like this this is a disaster for black yeah this is sente so why can go here yeah so what i'm trying to say is um playing high is not a good move um if you are black you can ignore it attaching underneath is wise plan okay yeah this is the game um fortunately black didn't go here but black answered like this but um playing further away was better yeah this is the game yeah black took the bite yeah black could have jumped here yeah you don't have to answer with this high invasion okay but for white white connected here but uh, white had better move can you guess where um, this is a very um, popular shape you can play here playing here is the best move for white this is threatening this push so black should connect underneath then now white has this attachment black cannot come out and cut because this is atari this is a disaster for black black should capture this one stone then white can connect with a great shape but um 
why it didn't go here, why it connected here. And this is another uh, trick move. Um, black took the bite, but black could have ignored this move. Black could have pushed here. Then this is Sente. If white answers, then now black can capture, right? Or I think black can just go out to the center. What do you think? Um, but um, I think white played here to um, aim at this move. Yeah, this is the game. But actually it was not a big deal because black could have exchanged this. And then locally, if black plays like this, black can connect underneath. Yeah, there is no problem for black to save her the stones. Yeah, black is winning this catching race. This is the game. Yeah, black didn't see this um, connection, so this is the game. So white managed to push through the right side. Here, um, black lost some points, but still black is leading by um, a lot, around 30 points. Yeah, this is the game. Yeah, actually black played very well because um, now white's group is isolated, this group. White has a group here and group here, but it's a bit far from this group. So black is doing very well. Yeah, this is Sente. So far, so good. But this one stone was smart. Now the main point is attacking the center group. Black could have gone here. I think oh, if black plays like this, the center group is in danger. How can white save the center group? Yeah. With this move, I think black can just block here. White doesn't have even one eye. It was small, but uh, white captured this one stone. It was small as well. So now black got sent again. Um, black tried to cut on this side, but I think um, this would have been better. Because in the game, black played here, so there was some um, connection between um, two groups. So I mean, um, playing here is better. Yeah, this is the game. Anyway, black managed to cut white off. It was very good. But um, when white plays here, black played this extension. But black could have blocked here. Then white is dead. Yeah, white has no way out. White is sealed in. That means white is captured. But somehow black stepped back. And after this, white connected. Yeah, with this move, I think black could have cut here. Still, white is in danger. This one stone is nothing black can just sacrifice then still white has a long way to go yeah i think white is in danger uh, but i think black missed this connection but still black is leading by a lot maybe 20 points at the moment um, black tried to connect underneath but it's small right now this group is not alive and this group got weaker so black can attack one of these groups for the left side black could have played like this yeah this is sente why you can live inside then now you can attack this group how would you attack this group this is black's turn how would you attack this group I think you can go here. Yeah, this is a vital point. If white blocks, this is Sente. You can connect underneath. Then black is taking away white space. Yeah, this is, I think, very powerful. If white connects, then this is Sente. You can connect underneath. Yeah, this is a very powerful way for black to attack this group. Yeah, I think this is very good. For the right side, uh, even if white goes here, black is alive. I think black can play away. 
Yeah, this group is alive. No problem. One more thing you can think about when you play a handicap game. You shouldn't uh, be scared <laughs> even if your opponent is stronger than you. Yeah, your group is um, safe. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your safety. Yeah, that is important because uh, in many cases when we play a handicap game, um, we play so many chicken moves that we don't uh, necessarily play. I think this is uh, that kind of move. Yeah, you could have played away. You could have attacked this group and this group. Yeah, this is the game. Um, white played here is a bit overplay, but now white is behind, so it's, it makes sense. Yeah, this is the game. Um, yeah, black captured this too. It was very good. This is a very good Tetsuji. White played here, so um, this group and this group is now perfect. It was very good for white. But the problem is um, this group is n not alive and this group is weak as well. So with this move, I think this is not necessary because after this move, um, this cut is now open. So this is a bad exchange. Black doesn't need to exchange this. With this move, black could have gone here. Yeah, I think this is dead. I think black can capture this group. Yeah, something like this. Uh, black can just um, keep blocking. And then white has no way out. Yeah, this is dead. Um, but black exchanged this and reinforced here, but it was not necessary. Yeah, black can think about killing this group but uh, black was uh, worried about black's safety, yeah. I think all black need is confidence. If black has confidence, um, I think everything is okay. Black can attack this group and capture this group, or this group is also weak, this group is attackable, yeah. But black played this move, it was not necessary. So white managed to play here. Black answered, but it was not necessary. When your opponent plays on the second line, you should think carefully whether you would answer. Okay, um, now it's a good timing for black to go here. But in the game, black answered. And the sequence went like this. Still, black has a good move here. Do you know where? Can you guess black's best move to attack this group? That is this. Yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, if I answer here, then black can attach underneath. Yeah, this is a disaster for white. Yeah. Black can come out and black can cut this off. Yeah, black can capture these four stones and at the same time, this is captured. Let me show you one more time. Yeah, this is the vital point. If white answers, then black can attach underneath. Then this is Sinte. And this is Sinte. So this is a disaster for white. So probably white should think about um, answering on this side. Then black can go up. Then yeah, this is good for black. Yeah, this is dead. These three stones are captured. Or I think this is better. Yeah, black can go here. And then now black can push through here. Can you see? Yeah, black can capture this one stone. Then A and B are mi. 
What if I plus on this side? This is sente. Yeah. Black can take away white space. Yeah, this is so good. But black missed this vital point. And then this gives white a living shape. Yeah, white cut here and took these five stones. It was big. Still, the game was okay, but um, with this move, black could have gone here. This is Sente. And this is Sente. Black could have played like this. Then, still, the game is uh, close. Um, the gap is like one or two points. But this was a bit um, small, passive. So white exchanged this, and then white played here. Yeah, with this move, locally black could have saved this group. Yeah, this is alive. But now white is slightly leading. But in the game, black answered here. This would have been the right move, but black played here, so this is a call. White played here and came back. So finally, white won this call, so white ended up winning this game. All right, how was today's game? All right, how was today's game? Uh, when playing a handicap game, I think the most important thing is um, playing actively and playing with confidence. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!